What's up, y'all? This is Nick with From the Ground Up DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to build this rope shelf that'll look magnificent in your home. So the rope shelf that I'm going to be building today is for my girlfriend and she wants it so that she can organize and store some of her toiletries and she showed me a picture of how she wants it to look so I'm going to be doing my design based off this. To make the shelves I'm going to be using select pine and I started by doing some measuring to figure out how long I want the shelves to be. As you can see in the picture, there are two longer shelves and two shorter shelves and after doing some measuring, I decided to make the longer shelves approximately 40 inches long and the shorter shelves approximately 30 inches long. I pulled out my miter saw so that I can cut my boards to size and when starting the cuts on my 8 foot boards, I made sure to cut a straight edge on each board and I did this because sometimes the factory edge on boards can be a little wonky, so by cutting the edge off it makes for a nice straight start. I cut the longer shelves down to size first and then I lined the boards up to make sure that the 30 inches for the shorter shelves was going to look right and once I see that it did, I went ahead and cut the shorter shelves down to size as well. Now that I got all my boards cut to size, I went ahead and lined the boards up in the orientation that they're going to go in and then I started marking the whole locations for the rope that will be going through the shelves. When determining the whole locations for the rope, you want to make sure that the end of the boards all have the same offset from the rope location so that everything can look even. And I tried determining this offset by making marks on my shorter shelf first, but it's actually better to determine the rope locations from the longer shelf since it will have the most rope going through it. After playing around with a few measurements, I figured out that each rope would need to be spaced about 14 inches for everything to be even. And with knowing this information, I went ahead and marked the locations for the rope. With the rope locations as they are now, one side of my smaller shelf now has an uneven offset than the other side and to fix this I will have to cut about 4 inches off this side to make it even with the other side. So instead of having the smaller shelves being 30 inches long, they will now be 26 inches long. I lined the other boards up so that I could transfer the marks over and then I marked the excess on the other short shelf. I cut the excess off of both boards on the miter saw and now it's time to mark the holes that the rope is going to go through. Each rope location on the shelves will have two holes in order for me to tie a knot under the shelf and the rope that I'll be using is one half inches in diameter so I decided to space the holes a half inch from the edge of the shelf and this will provide enough space between the ropes to still place items if necessary. To drill the holes for the rope, I'll be using my drill press with a 1 half inch spade bit and I like using the drill press when I have to make consecutive holes like this because it keeps the holes straight and consistent with one another. And while I drill the rest of these holes, I ask that you please take a moment and subscribe to the channel and by subscribing to the channel, you will be able to help me to continue to put out content and videos so I greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. With all the holes drilled out for the rope, I can get to sanding the shelves down, and since this select pine was already pretty smooth, I started sanding with some 120 grit sandpaper first, and then I switched to 220 grit to finish the boards off and to get them smooth delicious. While sanding, I made sure to use some wood filler to cover any small imperfections that I saw, and I sanded those down as well. To stain the shelves, I started by applying some Minwax pre-stain and I let the pre-stain sit on the boards for about 10 to 15 minutes and then use a rag to wipe any excess off. And the wood stain that I'm going to use is this Minwax Golden Pecan and I repeated the same process to get the shelf stained. The rope that I'm going to be using to tie the shelves together is this one half inch manila rope and this roll of rope is actually 100 feet long so I started off by cutting off a 20 to 30 foot long piece of rope and this should be enough to start tying the loops for the shelf. 
My plan is to tie the rope starting with the top shelf and working my way down and since the top loops will be hanging from the hooks the loops need to be a little longer than the rest of them so I decided to make the top loops approximately 18 inches long so I measured out the 18 inches and then used some painters tape to mark each side of the rope and once I had the rope lined up evenly with the shelf holes I flipped the shelf over and tied a knot. I repeated the same process with the other side of the shelf and then I moved on to the second shelf and for the rest of the shelves I kept the loops between 11 and 12 inches long and this can vary depending on what you plan on putting on the shelves so you can adjust the lengths of the loops to your liking. The most important thing with tying the loops is to keep everything even. The second shelf will have two loops that are extra long due to the orientation of the shelves. Just make sure that the right loop matches up with the end of the top loops and that the left loop connecting to the bottom shelf matches evenly with the bottom loops. After getting the shelves all tied up, I went ahead and added some wipe on poly for a protective finish and I recommend adding the wipe on poly before tying the ropes so that you don't get any polyurethane on your ropes. Before hanging the shelves up, I wanted to do a test hang to make sure that the shelves were even and level. So I used a level to hang the shelf up in the air and all the shelves look good and were spaced out correctly. And with knowing this, I can go ahead and proceed with hanging the shelf up. To hang the shelf up, I'm going to be using some wall hooks and a few drywall anchors. One thing I wish I would have did before making the shelf was to measure the studs out in the wall so that at least two of the loops could hang from studs, but unfortunately, with the limited space on the wall, I was only able to get one of the loops to hang from an actual stud. While attaching the hooks onto the wall, I was having a very difficult time getting the anchor screwed into the wall, and this was because I was trying to drill in the screw while it was inserted into the anchor, and after struggling for a while, I eventually noticed that the anchors had a drive on top, and with knowing this, I screwed the drywall anchors into the wall first, and then I set my hooks in place and then drilled in the screws to secure the hooks. After making sure that the hooks were centered and secure in place, I hanged the shelf on the hooks and then I used a level on each shelf to make sure that it was level. Before calling the rope shelf complete, my girlfriend went and got all of her toiletries so that she could organize them on the shelf and once she had all those in place all nice and neat, the rope shelf is now done. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching the entire video. And this rope shelf was a pretty cool project and I really enjoyed how I was able to stagger the shelves to give my shelf a unique look. And I want to challenge you guys by doing a different design on the shelves than what I did. And I love to see how y'all stagger y'all shelves or make y'all shelves bigger or smaller. So if you do decide to make this shelf, please send me pictures and my Instagram at from the ground up DIY. And please follow me on Instagram because that's where I post my day-to-day -day progress on projects that I'm working on now. So I'd love for you guys to come over there and check me out. But with all that being said, y'all, peace, love, many blessings, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.